Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Well, that flag always gets out of shape, doesn't it? Gotta straighten it out. Straighten it out. Come on. It always wraps around the pole. Wind blows, it wraps around the pole. It is a bombing 34 degrees out here right now. Fahrenheit. That's about one degree Celsius for all you metrics. Let me see if I'm right here. Bring up my phone. Yep, 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Two degrees above freezing. One degree Celsius above freezing. <laughs> it got down to about 26 degrees last night. And it's not that bad out here in the sun. Provided the wind would stop blowing. If the wind wasn't blowing, it wouldn't be that bad. Uh, I'm becoming more acclimated to the cold. It's taken years, but I'm becoming more acclimated to the cold. When I lived in Colorado, I got kind of used to the cold. For years, years and years and years. I worked in Colorado doing tree service work, and every winter I would either go to Vegas or Phoenix or Alabama or Florida, somewhere down south where it was warm. And I worked at the campground for four years, had to stay there in the wintertime, so I kind of acclimated. I was here last winter. It's a lot colder here than it is in Colorado. I became a little more acclimated. Now, I couldn't be out here all day in this cold without a jacket or, or shirt on, but I rode my motorbike last year all winter long with nothing but a t-shirt and a long sleeve shirt on and a Levi jacket. I didn't even, I think I very seldom wore my leather jacket. Uh, I think I wore it a couple of times, but for the most part, I rode my bike with just my Levi jacket, gloves, and a hat on. Um, of course, I had long johns on back then. I don't have long johns on today. It's not cold enough, and I don't plan on going anywhere on the bike, maybe to Walmart. That's only a mile and a half up the road. Um, so I'm becoming more acclimated to the cold, which I, I hate the cold, but you've got to become acclimated. So I come outside as often as I can when it's cold like this and I stay out as until I actually start to shiver a little bit and then I go back in the house and the more I do that the more my body will adjust to the cold you kinda you kinda have to do that if you're gonna be in a cold climate you need to let your body acclimate um, your body will learn just like with your dentures your body will learn um, and you know I use a lot of lessons in my life from the lessons I learned with dentures, uh, like acclimating to the cold. You will acclimate if you force yourself to acclimate. Just like you will learn your dentures if you force yourself to wear them and use them. You will learn them. It's cold enough I can see my breath. Of course the sun's shining clear skies we didn't get the storm that we thought we were going to get it's just beautiful out here everything's still green because last night was the first night it actually froze and today's the first day that it's been down in the 30s um, today is my brother's birthday he turns 61 today <laughs> had to think about that for a minute <laughs> He turned 61 years old today. God, he's getting old. Man, he's an old man. <laughs> I think it's funny. I call him old man all the time. But anyway, uh, sorry if you missed the, the live. That was a random live. Um, Denture Fit had given me some good news, and I jumped on there and, and wanted to tell everybody. Um, and they were in the house. They came on and, and were there to answer questions if people needed uh, questions answered and things. And uh, it was a great live. Uh, I was only on there for about 15 minutes or 16 minutes, something like that. I didn't want to make it too long, but, uh, you know, it was great. A lot of people showed up. It, it, it was kind of an unexpected spur-of-the-moment live stream to uh, throw out some good news. Uh, when DentureFit does things like that, I have to jump on there real quick and get that news out there for people. 
so sorry if you missed it and uh, I'm sorry if you missed some of my lives but I don't do a whole lot of lives uh, like I said I I don't plan on doing a live stream when I do it I just do it randomly I think it's better that way um, I don't really like to plan for them too much so anyway if the wind would stop blowing I'd be comfortable out here right now at 34 degrees it would actually be comfortable the sun shining as long as the sun shining now if it was cloudy and 34 degrees I'd be freezing my butt off but the radiation from the sun is warming me up nicely and uh, I'm gonna finish my coffee maybe I'll wipe down the bike by then I should be cold enough to go back in the house <laughs> The thing with me right now is I have nerve damage in my hands, so my hands get cold faster than any other part of my body. And they start getting stiff and they start to hurt. And then I have to go back in the house and warm them up. That's the worst part. I have a lot of nerve damage in my hands. So it's something I have to deal with. I've been dealing with it my whole life. It's just the way it is. Uh, gloves help to a point, but not as much as you would think. All right, my friends, that's it for now. I'm going to get back in the house. I'm going to wipe down the bike, and then I'm going to get back in the house. I will talk to you all later. I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to keep smiling. Keep trying. And this flag is trying to slap me in the face. <laughs> I should have left it rolled up. <laughs> and never give up.